Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to find the prime factorization of a composite number using the ladder method. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. The ladder method is a different method than I was used to growing up, but it's still a method out there. We're going to use that to find the prime factorization of 120. This one's a little difficult. Let's see how the ladder builds here. I'm going to start with 120 down here. I want to pick a prime number, that the lowest prime number that can go into 120. Well, 120 is even, so we always can start with 2 there. So you kind of do using long division, 2 goes into 120. Well, 2 goes into 120, we know 60 times. 120 divided by 2 is 60. Well, we know that's even, so we're going to do it again. Same thing. Lowest prime number, well, 60 is even, so we put a 2 in it. 2 goes into 60, well, it's 30. Keep on going. 2 goes into 30 again, it's a uh, lowest prime number is 2, so 2 goes into 30, and that's going to be 15 times. Now, 15 is no longer an even number, but the next prime number up is a 3. And a 3 goes into 15. So with a 3 there, 3 goes into 15 five times, and our end result is prime. 5 is a prime number, and so we're done with the ladder method, as you can see. So the numbers that the prime factorization of 120 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. 2 times 2 times 2 is a 2 to the third power times 3 times 5. But there we have it. Here's our prime factorization of 120 using the ladder method. Hope you learned something here on how to find the prime factorization of a composite number using the ladder method. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel and tell people about our channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.